answer yourself. Is this the career that you want to get? Because sales, don't forget, real estate is sales. Yes, it looks flashy on those reels and YouTube videos that you're watching from this million dollar listing shows and all. But trust me, it's way more than that. Even everyone whom you see, they hustle like dogs, especially in the first few years. It's going to be crazy. It's like a lot of things bombarding in your head. You know, you'll be like, like literally like you're running a marathon or you're on a roller coaster. So it will be in that phase. So first, question yourself. If your answer is yes, then continue watching this video. Namaskar. Welcome back to my channel. This is Aditya Soba. If you're new here, you know, I'm a real estate agent and real estate investor. Uh, as a real estate agent, I've been in the business for the last four years. And from my first year, I was an icon agent. And uh, in the first year alone, I made 55 transactions. And from the second year, it's 100 plus transactions. And la this year, this is 2023. But the last year, 2022, me and my team ranked as a 28th in 23rd, I believe, um, across Canada um, in terms of volume. Um, Pizza being a small city, you know, we were able to achieve that. Again, uh, I'm not saying this to brag because this video is about the sales, right? Like you, are, you want to get into sales. So I just want to, uh, you know, give you a heads up on who is speaking about the sales. So I think, you know, I learned something that is powerful uh, that I'm going to share, you, share with you in this video. So stay tuned till the end. I'm pretty sure you'll walk up with a lot of information. And, you know, I would advise if you can, take a pen and paper, make some notes on what you can, you know, where you can get started and what you can do for next one year. Whether you're just starting or you haven't even started, you're just curious, then from there to the next one year, what you can do is what I'm gonna give you in this video. So the first thing, I want you to question yourself pretty hard. Because you know, do you really wanna get into real estate? What really influenced you? Let me know in the comments below so that you know, you know what really getting in your head. Um, what motivated you to, you know, if it's just money, probably you won't survive long So now you made your mind, you want to get your real estate license. So first thing is, of course, go register for the exams because until you haven't started anything, if you haven't took the first step, that means you're not really doing anything about it. So first, register for the exams. If you're in Ontario, Humber College offers the course. That's the only college where you know it's all online nowadays. You can do take I think uh, physical classes as well, but you know everything can be done online. Search for Humber College Real Estate Course. It will tell you all what's the requirements, how you can register. It, it the website will have all the information. I don't want to go over that. I also made a video a while ago. Um, you can check out that video. So here is I have seen a major mistake many people who are getting into real estate mix. They think that first they have to finish the exams, then start the sales. No, you're wrong. As soon as you register for your exams, here's a few things. The most of the things that I'm going to suggest now, going forward, you have to start doing from the day one you register for your exams. Get to know your neighborhoods. Which city are you in? Which neighborhoods you want to you know, become the salesperson? Get to know about each and every neighborhood. What school districts, you know, what are the rankings for each school? Where are the parks? You know, what are the good things about each neighborhood? What are the bad things about each neighborhood? What are the ugly things about each neighborhood? Start making a diary about anything and everything about neighborhoods, about your city. What are retirement homes? What are semi-detached? What are detached homes? What are town homes? What are condos? What are duplexes? What are triplexes? What are all, all these properties? Get to know everything about real estate. Because in the first year, the more knowledge you have, the easier for you to make sales. You know about your city, you know about real estate properties, you know, different types. Also know about the prices. What type of price points in each neighborhood? What are the, you know, areas that not many people tap into? What are the areas that are coming up where the price points are still in the low price where, you know, slowly you have, you know, people are seeing around that there is a growth happening get to know anything and everything about real estate. So now I'm assuming that you know a good amount of knowledge about your city, about real estate and prices. Now, in the sales, there is actually 
only two major things that you have to focus all the time. There will be a lot of little activities, but two major things. You know what's those two are? One is generating leads. Means how many people do you know who will be buying and selling tomorrow, day after tomorrow, next year, upcoming year. So the leads, the people. Two, converting those leads. The knowledge you gain will help you to do both the things. Let's talk about first how to generate leads. So this is where I think, you know, personally, because I had, I started as an investor, um, I learned a lot about neighborhoods and different type of properties because I purchased. So all of a sudden I gained that knowledge. And one thing that I did, not many people I see do, is on the day I register my exams, I started doing social media. So what I did on social media, I used to post, I have no clue when I started, no clue, go check my social media, Instagram, Facebook, you won't see any much of post or stories or reels, anything, it's five years ago, before I decided to get into real estate, you don't see anything. If you're a shy person, if you don't like social media, I have a bad news for you. If you don't put your face outside, there is no possibility for you to make sense. So keep that in mind. That's why, why you're getting, what was the reason is the most important. The first thing I talked in the beginning of this video, if you don't know your why. For me, when I got into sales, I have a goal. I want to make my family free from this finances, have a freedom to really, you know, for our family to stay together. For that, we need a good amount of finances. So yes, money was the reason, but more than money, the, you know, bringing the family together, traveling the world, going to the places that I want always, that was my major motive. So if you don't figure out that thing, then now you start to give excuses. Oh, social media. Oh, you know what? My grandma is going to watch this video. I, they're going to judge me. My friends going to watch this video. Or they're going to judge me. This, that, all these things will ramble in your head and you don't do anything. So here's one thing I want you to do. Promise yourself, you're going to do one video every day, less than a minute. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. I'm going to give you some ideas for the videos as well. Just one video a day, one post, one story every day make it a habit solid habit don't look at any results how many people following you how many commenting how many liking all these things give a f about it because you know when i started probably 10 people used to you know like my videos still on the day i got my license i had three to four people already ready to work with me that's a power of social media because now all your friends already part of your social media group they already know you now they know that you're getting ready to get into real estate. They know that you're passionate about it. If you're not passionate, if you're not active, they're gonna look for someone else, right? So keep that in mind. So what do I say in the social media? What do I do in the social media? You already learned about your city, right? You're learning. If you haven't, start learning and make topics, videos about this. Let's say the first video. Hey, today I went to this neighborhood, which is called South Windsor. It's, you know, it's one of the best neighborhoods in Windsor because this neighborhood has the top schools, the school districts across Canada. There are like three schools that are ranked in top 100. And you know, there is like good mix of both uh, locals and also immigrants. So it's, it's a very good cultural uh, background neighborhood. That's it. Go post it. You don't have to make over. And you know, where I have seen a lot of people, they juggle. Okay, I want to do content, I want to do this kind of, you know, videos, but I don't have a good camera. F it, I started with my phone. At that time, I didn't even have iPhone. I had like some uh, old uh, LG something, a cheap phone. Still it shoots video, still it can do a good audio. Nowadays, every smartphone has a better video and audio. So start with what you already have and make it a habit of posting, not just letting the video stay in your, uh, in your phone. So whatever you're learning, right, about your city, about you, who are you, where did you came from, are you an immigrant, are you a local, uh, are you a Windsorite, are you, you know, Toronto, you lived in Toronto. Who are you? You. No, not me, you. Yes, I am you. Just answer the damn questions. Who are you? What do you like about your neighborhoods? What do you like about your city? What are five things that you can do in your city? What are five things that, you know, uh, that you don't like about your city? What are the five best schools in your city? What are the five best neighborhoods where the highest price points? I can go on and on. 
at this point in time you're not thinking about who is going to come and work with you real estate you're just putting yourself out there just with your passions with your knowledge with your strength with what you know what you're learning what is that going to do for you trust me i think this is one of the key powerful tools that helped me and not only just me so far i trained at least 10 agents none of them who is been with in the business some of them quit but you know the ones who were in the business for at least for one year everyone made at least six figures in their first year six figures in the first year with zero knowledge zero background nothing that's because of the social media idols so that powerful it is and two along with the social media go do some networking and start talking to people tell them how much you are passionate about real estate tell them why you are passionate about when you are getting your exams your network can be like your family your father mother's uh, friends your friends your community groups this is powerful if you are india let's say or you know your telugu guy like me who speaks telugu there's telugu events like groups of community events happening across the, across the cities every city has different communities if there is if there is no networking like community groups you start one just don't try to become that sales person who is like just hey if you look to buy or sell call me no create a community group host some events just become friends with them just like whenever they talk about what you do hey i'm just getting my license you know i'm so passionate about real estate here is what i'm doing and then you know flip back to hey what do you do where is your family get to know become friends with people don't try to become a sales person so if you do this networking and the social media combine don't just try to separate them combine them while you're doing your exams or even as soon as you personally i would say you have to start as soon as you register for your exams or even before you're registering start doing that without any expectations trust me you will be in a much better position than many 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 realtors in anywhere because don't forget in real estate there is 90% of failure rate only 10% of the realtors make over six figure income only 10% you know why because they don't know how to generate leads and the second part is now that you have generated leads you have generated leads the next one is you have to convert those leads so converting if you already build your skills if you are already building the trust through this all this uh, networking social media conversion becomes much easier you don't need any of those you know those are typical sales see talks like you see in the car showrooms you know where they're trying to uh, dress up something more professional you don't need all those things you know even in my beginning days like i never used to feel like a sales person i always used to tell my clients bro i'm your friend who is going shopping together with you for house just who knows a little bit deeper about real estate that's all and when the right opportunity comes in they make the offer and you get it done and of course it need a little more than the regular person skills right so here is the top two books that help me to gain the knowledge in the conversion and also a little bit about the lead generation as well is one how to win friends influence people this book really give me a solid solid knowledge about how to work with people how to you know really influence in a good way and the second one is sell it like ryan shahat ryan shahat is my virtual mentor who i follow very regularly and you know i try to uh, gain a lot of knowledge from his social media because he is like the top guy in the world as a real estate sales person now he is a broker and all but he, this book he goes very deep from the beginning of his career to making billion in volume so you will be gaining a lot more knowledge so those two books actually gave me a very deep understanding and last advice that i have for you you know trust me it will be a lot in the beginning have some patience trust in the process trust in the activities that you're doing not the results especially the first few months will be very tough you don't see the sales but what i would advise is go find a good mentor in whichever the city you're in see if you know if you're completely newbie maybe join a team go find a team who is crushing it who who are you know willing to help people like you 
go join a team find a mentor and you know now take help from the mentors whatever the uh, downsides you are going through whatever the challenges you are going through start asking questions get to know them and you know, there is a lot of realtor uh, networking events also happen go mingle with other realtors ask them you know what they are doing what is working well what is not working you know and offer them free lunches take them out for lunch just for some help um and if they need any help go help them so that you know you can learn right so that's all i have for you hope this video is helpful for you if there is anything you know you still want to learn more on let me know in the comments below and also you know if you're a realtor already started doing if let me know if you're doing the social media or not just fake social media if you believe in it or not and if you watch till here i would appreciate one thumbs up and a comment and a subscribe to the video for more videos like this stay tuned thanks so much